Welcome back to the Piney Woods Homestead, y'all. I am going to work on this cabin floor just a little bit today. A little bit windy, a little bit cold. We're drying out from just downpours of rain, y'all. And It's easy for the mind to get downcast when you've had nothing but rain and rain and rain. So I figured it's good to get up here in the sunshine, get some vitamin D, and drive some nails. Guys, thanks for stopping in at the Piney Woods Homestead. Hit that like and subscribe if you hadn't. And if you have, as always, y'all, 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 we do appreciate you. So everywhere in here that I have to go around this bracing, I've got to put me a little something to attach the end of my boards to. It's not rocket science, just something that the end of the board can rest on that I can nail into. So that's what I'm doing right here. y'all subfloor for the most part is down and i'm happy about that it's not nailed down i just got it laid in here floating i still got some spots to kind of patch up but for the most part it's down and that's a good sense of accomplishment to have gotten something done today even if it really hasn't benefited me any today i believe that it will in the future so this is looking good now i get this thing stripped out around the edges where i still got a kind of put me a few nailing points for the actual flooring and then I'll be able to get into putting that floor in here that's been in the dry now for quite quite some time my plan is to shiplap it kind of overlap it and then I can silicone where I need to that's the plan anyhow just kind of keep this thing as critter free as possible <music> So let me show y'all a little trick. Earlier I was up here and I knocked off one of my Maxwell House cans full of finishing nails and scattered them all over the place. So in order to get those things up quick, y'all, magnet is the best way to go. And so if I can get it from my other hand, one of these little Harbor Freight $4 magnets, I think they are, might be $4. Man, they work great for something like this. Check this out. This little old tiny magnet. No nails getting in my tractor tires. That works great. And once you get them all up, you do have to 
rake them all off of that thing, but let me show you another little thing that some of you may already know this little hack. But all you got to do is take the lid from that coffee can, that plastic lid, put your magnet on one side, and then just take it along and pick up whatever nails you drop like that. And then the easy way to get them back into the container is just put it down like that, take your magnet off. I don't know if you can see that. Let me pull that back over here with the camera. Get a few nails out and show you. So you can hear them drop. But just pick it up like that. Sit it up there on the coffee can. Remove the magnet. Nails go in the coffee can. That's pretty slick. Hey Whiskers, you hungry? Are you hungry? Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on, you can come up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. I enjoy that cat whiskers even if she won't even come to me. Y'all, this is just a wet, nasty day. See, that's all the work that I'm going to do. Up there on the cabin today, got those floorboards down. Need to nail them in, but at least they're cut and they're in place. That's one less thing on my to-do list. And I'll show you something here on the back side of woodyard number one that I'm really wanting to get done in the next few days if it'll dry out enough. And I believe it's going to help with us as we dry this wood that we're splitting, even though we're splitting from dried logs. I need to open up the airflow a little bit because we'll have green stuff in here before you know it. And I need a little bit more airflow. So when I cleared this little spot out here for this wood yard, this little, I don't remember how big it is now, but right now we've got 10 cord bunks in there. I just piled everything on the back side and there's an old fence here that I had intended on yanking out but just didn't get around to it so whiskers I'll tell you what to be a cat that don't want to be around me she sure does like to follow me around a lot and you're getting me sidetracked girl you're getting me sidetracked but y'all I want to pull all of this out of here Whiskers don't want me to because she loves it because the mice like it and she likes the mice, but you can see my dirt hole over here That's full of water. We've been wanting a pond and we currently have one But that's a couple of things that we would like to do if the Lord should allow and He should tarry is to get all this cleaned out. That's part of it, but down here Perfect spot for a small pond so that we could put some fish in it and I'd really like to be able to get that done as well as expanding our wood operation as far as firewood goes and sawmill because we've got plenty of room out here. It's just about clearing it. And most of what is where I'm walking right now is smaller stuff, you know, sapling stuff as big around as your leg. And, I can clear it. I don't know if the sun's going to mess you up being able to see, but this is the afternoon sun. And it would be great to be able to have wood ready to go stored up here in some bulk bags. And that's my idea for up here is to do a, a bulk bag system so that we can dry them in that. I believe that's what I want, the route that I want to go as far as the future so that it's easier on Lisa and I. We're gonna keep wood yard number one, just like it is. And that second wood yard that we're getting into now, we're gonna pretty much do the same way that we've done here, split and stack. It was, it's work for us in the small tight space that we have. But this over here, I believe we can open that up and make it an area that we can actually do those face cord bags in. 
if I can get some forks or something and an attachment for the excavator so that we can actually load them into a dump trailer. Time's gonna tell y'all, it's all time and money and we got more time than we got money. Maybe some of y'all are like us. And, but you know, we just keep on trucking and keep trusting that the Lord will provide on time. <laughs> that's the main goal, guys. Y'all, that's gonna wrap it up for me today. I am not firing all on, on all cylinders today. And so um, we'll wrap it up right here. And we're going to do a walk and talk on the next one. I got some ideas for that walk and talk. And I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching us try to scratch out a living here on our little homestead. Y'all have a good day, a great week. And Lord willing, and the creek don't rise too high. Y'all, it's pretty high right now. We'll see you on the next one.